Today's video is sponsored by Minimal Case. All right guys, so I just got my brand new Pixel 4a and the first thing that I did was slap a Minimal Case on it. And the reason I like Minimal Cases is they don't add bulk and they don't actually take away from the design of the phone. In fact, I'm using the frosted black case on here and it doesn't even look like I have a case on it at all. And what it's doing is it's adding protection against scratches, light drops, and it even protects the glass camera bump on the back of the phone. And they also come in other neutral colors like frosted white, matte black, and I even had the clear case on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you're like me and you just don't like bulky cases but you want to keep your device looking new, minimal cases are the way to go. Now if you are interested in checking out minimal case, I will have a link in the description. If you use the code GAMESKI, you can even save 25% off. And again, I'd like to thank minimal case for sponsoring today's video. All right guys, so today we're checking out the brand new Soundpeats True Capsule 2. The reason I'm excited about checking out this pair is it seems as though every time Soundpeats comes out with a new pair of earbuds, they prove even more that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get some impressive features and also get some pretty dynamic sound. And the True Capsule 2s come in at $40 and actually right now on Amazon they even have a 10% off coupon so you can actually pick these up for 36 bucks. Now to start with, these do have Bluetooth 5.0, and they're also using a Qualcomm 3020 chip. Now on top of that, they also have Aptex playback, and I didn't experience any kind of lag with movies or videos. I had a very stable connection, and the fact that it has Aptex playback is really impressive given its price tag. Now as far as the IP rating on these, they come in rated at IPX5, so although they're not a pair that's completely waterproof, this is easily a pair that you can go out and you don't have to worry if it starts to rain or if they get splashed on or if you're somebody that sweats heavily. Just again, make sure you don't submerge these into water. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, you are getting the usual small, medium and large silicone ear tips and you're also getting a USB-C cable. And speaking of the charging cable, battery life is very impressive on these because on the earbuds themselves, you're gonna get around eight hours where with the charging case, you're gonna get around 40 total. Now moving over to looking at the case, the case is a little bit on the larger side. Um, it's not as small as some of the other ones I'm used to, but that's kind of to be expected, especially with a pair of earbuds that have the stem style design. And on the bottom is where it has its USB-C input for charging. And then around on the front, you can see it has a single indicator light so that you can gauge about how much battery life is left on the case. Now moving over to checking out the earbuds, like I said earlier, these do have the stem style design to them. They use touch controls and I'm happy to say that you can control everything. So you have your play, pause, skipping your tracks forward, going backwards, and even volume control all on the earbuds themselves. Now another huge bonus about these is they also have the smart sensor that will auto pause when you take them out and auto resume when you put them back in. And to me that's impressive that they've included that because usually that's a feature you see on much more expensive earbuds. Now as far as you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And a huge plus about that is when you're using them individually, they switch over to mono mode. And then when you use them both, it goes back to stereo. Now, as far as the mics on here, I think they did a pretty good job with this. They have dual mics, and again, because of the stem style design, it allows the microphone to be a little bit closer to your mouth. And they also use CVC 8.0 technology, which does a very good job of blocking out your surroundings and focusing in on your voice. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is a mic test using the True Capsule 2. I think my voice sounds a little bit tinny, but the mics do a very good job of picking up my voice. This is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is a mic test with a crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. And actually, before I give my opinion on the sound, I want you guys to be able to hear a few different samples here. The best way to gauge this is to put headphones on or either put your own earbuds on so that you can hear some of the details that it picks up. But we're gonna go ahead and listen to a few samples here.
now that you guys have heard the samples, I want to point out that I think these sound absolutely excellent for the price, especially if you're somebody that's looking for a more dynamic sound, because I feel like the bass is very punchy, but surprisingly, it's still very tight doesn't get sloppy, doesn't roll over the mids or the highs at all, because I felt like the mids had really nice presence. I always felt like the vocalist was pretty much right there in front of me, and I could hear the details of both male and female vocals done extremely well. Now with the treble, you can tell that they've definitely tuned it up to try to balance out with that boomy bass. So there's a lot of clarity in the details. I don't feel like the treble gets high or harsh at any times. So it is a very pleasing sound to listen to where it doesn't feel like one thing is trying to do too much over the other. Now, as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging, I think these sound fairly open feel like I'm in a larger size room, and then being able to tell where things are coming from, these handled with no issue. Now, as far as my cons with these, I really would have liked to have seen the case be a little bit smaller, and then my only other con is I'm not a huge fan of the stem style design. Now, that's not a huge drawback about these, because that really just kind of comes down to personal preference. So overall, I think Sound Pete's did it again, where they're giving you a lot for your money, being able to have Aptex playback, eight hours of battery life on the earbuds, having really good microphones and a very dynamic sound. It's not too bad to be able to pick that up for 40 bucks. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Sound Pete's True Capsule 2. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.